brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, I'll be showing you how to uh, remove and reinstall the inside door handle. I'll show you the driver's side. Passenger side is pretty much the same. Even the rear doors are the same. Uh, you just may not have a, a harness to unplug. Only tools you'll need is a small flat blade screwdriver or a pick, as well as a Phillips screwdriver. Start out, there's a panel behind the inside door handle. Use a small flat blade screwdriver or a pick and pry at the top and the panel comes down and out. And then there are two Phillips, the black Phillips screws that hold the door handle in place. And we'll fast forward here as I remove those. Be careful not to drop them down into the door panel. Once the screws are removed, pull the top out first and then kind of rotate the front of the handle up and out and then you'll have to reach in behind and disconnect the door lock switch if there is one and there's just a little tab that you push in and pull the door lock switch harness down and then the door lock rod is connected in as well there's a clip, a little white clip that you have to push off of the lock rod and then pull the lock rod up and out and your door handle's off. Reinstallation, and I'm a little bit embarrassed here because we have to reinstall the old door handle because at the time I filmed this video, we had not carried the handles for this yet. Um, but you reconnect the lock rod, put the handle up in place, push the rod down into that white clip, and then flip the clip around and lock it on. Unfortunately, it's not really easy to video. And then get it close again, and if you have a power door lock switch, reconnect the door lock switch. And then just push the handle back into place. Push the bottom in first and then rotate the top in. And it should snap into place. And then I'll fast forward here as I um, put those two screws in and again be careful not to drop them down in the door panel and then put the trim panel back in place thanks for tuning in we hope this video helped you out next time you need parts for your car please visit 1aauto.com also check out our other helpful how-to as well as diagnosis videos